Good morning. In the last sessions we have discussed about the generation of the sound, the bronchial press sound, and the vesicular press sound. Today we'll be discussing about voice sounds. What is the difference between the press sounds and voice sounds? The voice sounds are generated in the larynx. Whereas breath sounds are produced in the airways, which we have discussed in the previous session. The sound has got always a fundamental frequency. Fundamental frequency is the lowest frequency, and sound has got multiples of this fundamental frequency which are called power tones and when they are in multiples it is called harmonics a vowel contains both low pitched and high pitched sounds the quality for the sound is called the timber. The timber depends upon the resonance of the sound that is occurring. That is depending upon the size of the airway, the sound generated gets resonance resonates. Is called a formance. So the quality of sound is determined by the size of the airway. That is why the even though the pitch is similar, the quality of the sound can be different. So coming back to the voice sounds, the three voice sounds you should remember. One is bronchophony. Bronchophony. Second is the whisper, whispering patology, and third is egophony. These are the three types of voice sounds we are interested. So, what is bronchophony? Bronchophony. So let us take the airway, and here is the lung. The alveolus usually or normally contains air, and the alveolus filters the high pitch sounds. Suppose this lung is solidified. What will happen? The alveolus gets filled with the fluid and fluid is a better conductor than air. So the filtering mechanism is lost and the sound will be heard clearly. So if you auscultate over an area of consolidation and the patient is asked to say the same thing in a constant intensity, words like 111 or 99.99, in a normal person or a normal lung is there, you will not be able to hear it properly. That is it. It is unintelligible. But over a area of consolidation, it becomes very clear and is heard in the earpieces in a very clear voice. This is called bronchophony. In When there is bronchophony, you ask the patient to whisper something. 
that is without producing voice a whisper something like that if it is curled it is called whisper, whispering pectolocky whispering <coughs> pectolocky so the fundamental thing is the airway should be patent and the lung be consolidated now we come to ego phony ego phony comes from the word ego in greek it means god so when the patient says e e it will be heard as e and it has got a quality of the bleating of a goat that is why it is called egophony so what is egophony patient is asked to say e e it is heard as a this is called the ego for me it is because e contains high frequency sounds of around 2000 to 3000 and a contains lesser frequency sounds and this is a feature that is seen in consolidation so today we have discussed about what is voice sound the three voice sounds are one is bronchophony second is whispering pectolocky and third is egophony and this vocal resonance or vocal sounds can be palpated the similar inference is obtained in the tactile vocal permittus so when the tactile vocal permittus is increased vocal resonance will also be increased so when will you say the vocal resonance is increased when you auscultate over the lung and ask the patient to say 111 it appears as if it is coming from the chest piece if you feel that it is heard at the ear piece you can definitely say that vocal resonance is increased so in summary tactile vocal permittance increase is equal to increase in the vocal resonance so they are all giving the same information and when the vocal resonance is increased we can get bronchophony we can get whispering pectolocky and third is egophony so these are the voice sounds and voice sounds are produced in the larynx whereas breath sounds are produced in the larger veins hope this was useful to you stay tuned for further videos